There are all these signs when you're coming up to the Rock of Gibraltar that like the monkeys are kind of kleptomaniacs and kind of steal from people. So I bet you he just stole that from somebody. <laughs> oh, look at him. Bobby, he's eating the grass again. Thank you. It he's is really the cute. These two are adorable. Pretty awesome. good light, huh? Yeah, he's on the leg. No, he's got a lot of light. It's Monty's drop the sunglasses. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, he's just like, fuck you. <laughs> oh, look at this tiny one. This one's so cute. But we're gonna hike all around this place. Go up to the very tippy top of the Rock of Gibraltar. Mom's bucket list item. Pick up some trash while we're at <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to movies. clean up because I don't know why. Like, we're in a nature reserve. Why would you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Gibraltar is the southernmost tip of mainland Europe and then right there, like right behind this cool tree, you can see Africa. And then this is Spain and stuff like that. This is the fam doing their photography stuff. <laughs> uh, you said I've always wanted to go to Gibraltar. we decided to run up the end of it <laughs> but there are the rest of our people hello <laughs> hopefully this is still open life of traveling with a professional photographer we're currently sitting here we went further down to basically the end of the trail on Gibraltar rock and my brother is somewhere a little further up taking sunset photos oh, I mean yeah. it is a super gorgeous sunset I think I can see an African <laughs> city lit up over there which is super cool I mean, it's, it is really gorgeous, these awesome. colors. We, so we may have taken longer because my brother takes a ton of photos and takes a while taking photos, but um, we got up to the top of the rock around one-ish, or maybe that's when we got to the cable car, I'm not sure. But anyways, if you come to the Rock of Gibraltar, I would give yourself, like, start at like 10 or 11 in the morning if you really want to see everything. We did the history buff trail because um, a lot of us are really into history, so that included um, like different World War II and different great siege tunnels, um, this Moorish castle that we're that's, sitting in front of right now, um, and different stuff like that. So 
Yeah, suggestion is really give yourself all day. We kind of wanted to sleep in because we do a lot of sunrise shoots with my brother, but um, definitely worth spending all day up here. It's so cool, so beautiful. Um, I thought maybe the um, like the talk about it might be overrated, but not at all. Totally <laughs> worth it. Anyways, put this on your budget list. We just had literally the best experience at Barista Australiano in Granada. Oh my gosh. Everybody should look it up. Yeah, if it's you're ever place. in Granada, you have to go Wonderful there. Wonderful, cute couple who yeah. run it. Good, best coffee, best coffee I've had here because they were telling us all about how they roast it differently than uh, most Spaniards. I know how to, most Spaniards roast their beans. Um, and it's just so good. And they're and kind of bitter, but, yeah. but they do it differently. And he loves coffee and loves yeah. cappuccinos just, and he's super yeah. good at Just it. super nice. Like our conversation with them would go in like my top four experiences of this trip. Um, and the food was super good. Like breakfast in Spain has been a little weird. They definitely eat it to eat some different food than us for breakfast. Lots of um, So like if you're an American and really like your breakfast, I think this would be a great option for you because it's more so what we like to eat. Um, and yeah, it was just so amazing. Like I didn't want to leave. They're so nice. Oh my gosh. Um, so yeah, Barista Australiano. Um, enjoy it. It's the best. Love it. 20,000 out of 10 stars. Ugh. What were yours? Oh my god, we're not doing this whole thing again because we decided to think of I'm gonna need you to recite. There are gonna be four different ones. What were yours again? Mine was the second night of Turtles, Sunrise, and Portugal, Monkeys. You had, you already did this. It was like an hour ago. Oh, flamenco, the yeah, yeah. Specific. Specific. Mine was ice cube, the ice cube tray of Gibraltar. I like how that comes first. <laughs> that definitely goes first. Yeah, we gotta keep our priorities straight. <laughs> <laughs> the cathedral that we went to here. Uh, opening Christmas presents. Opening Christmas presents. Where's my fork? It's nothing good, huh? <laughs> No, I'm just gonna make it to caves. Caves. That's a great caves. So I said sunrise in Portugal. See, you got you were complaining. There's not enough to cook four things. We can't cook four things. <laughs> sunrise in Portugal. <laughs> this is the first time. So I'm declaring this as a big tradition now. I've done this like the last six times in a row, and I've decided I like it. Anyway, sunrise in Portugal. Gibraltar monkeys. I think I said the first two nights specifically the ones Yeah, the first two nights. Oh yeah, specifically the monkeys with the cliff behind them. The, the second night of tapas or the first? But he said both. I said both. Yeah, Which is cheating. About, cheating. About, no, they're about the same. <laughs> but we'll give it to you. Thank you. What was my last one? Where did I go with? Oh, I turned the kerning say oh, yeah. to the viewpoint, which I think was Robin Big. Robin oh, Big. specifically the cafe. Oh, and the cat. Oh, my gosh, yeah. That blueberry glue vine. So we have to like and follow. Smash that follow button. <laughs>